Oh, y'all thought we were not doing a podcast tonight. Mic check, mic check, one, two. It's your host, KLP. KLP, Kennedy Lucas. Welcome back, guys, to our radio stations of Swanky 93.3, the radio station, and the Heat 94.6. This is the Beyond Swanky Podcast. Again, I'm your host and moderator, KLP Kennedy Lucas. We've got T and Monica up in the studio. We got Coco back into the studio with another Grand Slam story. Uh, he said, hey, he got a, a short a short story to tell us on today's show. And I said that was perfectly fine. Coco, thank you for coming to the studio. Because we got to get some things off, ladies and gentlemen. I know. It's Wednesday. Or by the time you're hearing this podcast, it'll be Thursday. But it's it's Wednesday night when we're recording. Where, where we been, guys? Y'all, hopefully y'all enjoyed KLP Aftermath this past Monday. Because we gave y'all a great podcast. And I know. I know. I, no excuses, right? You guys seen it. You guys seen our films on Amazon Prime. Street Style of New York Culture and Hardline Second Term. That's where we've been, guys. We've been taking a break. Uh, we t- I Okay. When something huge from KLP Entertainment comes out, our two films, uh, I like to give people, give our, our folks a break. When it comes to podcasting, radio shows, give people a break. I needed a break because... You know, I've, I'm over here. You guys know I'm a grad school. Y'all y'all see my, my, my stats, my, my grades so far, all A's for course number two. I'm a grad student. So uh, I had to take a, take a minute to do that. I had some clients that came up, so I had to do uh, client work. And, of course, along with my uh, day job, of course, and my other side hustle, KLP Entertainment, uh, you, you know, we've been busy, right? So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the two films. If you haven't seen those films quite just yet, guys, please go check out them, them films because we worked real hard for them. And, you know, today was a fantastic day. Right, T? T, hop on the mic. How, how are you? You working us to death, Kennedy. I'm just kidding. No, he is not. He's a great CEO, by the way. Kennedy, I'm good, man. We just, we, we hustling. And... I know I saw the script. You got some announcements. You got some things coming out. Guys, go see, of course, both of our films, Hardline Second Term, uh, Street Style, New York Culture. You know, I'm the uh, actor in one of them, producer for both. Guys, go check it out. You guys don't want to sleep on our, our films because we're, we're, we're coming up. We're coming up in the game in this 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 Amazon Prime game for films, for Kennedy Lucas Films, for Tyrus Lester Films, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let you, since you see you, I'm going to let you announce that that announce, that special announcement. I ain't going to jump the gun, but I'm good. Thank you, T. I appreciate it. T, Tyrus Lester, he's our CFO for KLP Entertainment, and he makes sure that our not only our financials are good, but he invests a lot in our company since 2015. So, he he's been here. He's been here for a long time, and I I, I love it. Monica, we're going over there. I see you. So anyway, guys, we've got some announcements for tonight, for this week. Of course, if you guys didn't see it right now on Instagram, of course we announced our sixth, yes, our sixth, the uh, studio, Silver Sky Studios. Of course, Silver, uh, Silver Sky Studios, that's a tongue twister for sure. I am very, very, uh, I'm excited to announce this new, um, our new six studios. Because, you know, we've been, with, th- th- with KOP Entertainment, guys, we, we, we try to find acquisitions for these studios. So that way, going forward, they can help us with our film process. So Silver Sky uh, Studios and their, their, their partners over there. They saw that we were on Prime, first off, first and foremost. They saw our, our development plan, and of course, now they are an acquisition of ours. So they're going to help out. They're going to be uh, creating some great things, some great elements, some great things we need for our next film, Eden Prime, guys. Eden Prime, it's, it's not that was no secret. Everybody knew that that was our next film, that we're starting production Um very very excited for that because we do start production uh a little bit of this thanksgiving break and then holiday season so we're saying well not on christmas but a little bit before christmas a little bit after christmas and a little bit after new year's we will be fully in depth in production for eden prime 
and then spring next spring we're going to be fully loaded on that project and then we're possibly going to have it out by the end of next year so uh we had meetings today uh, i had my what we like to call our one of our super pre-production meetings we do and i like to give people a little a little hindsight of, of our, pr our process but when we go in to our pre-production one of our pre-production meetings we go through and we look at all the music that was composed for this upcoming project and we select the best ones to go in the film and go in our file go in our archive so we've got some good music um, some good soundtracks for this one. So excited for that. Uh, as later on, as we get closer to the film's release, again, late next year. It's not even like it's super early for early development. But um, when it does go to super uh, post production, you guys will you you'll see more about it. But um, yes, we are uh, projecting to have um, the film out for Amazon Prime. That's our new thing right now and uh it's gonna be great it's gonna be great i've got the script wrote and the script is fantastic the script is is a fantasy type film so when you're writing for a fantasy type film in sci-fi science fiction you got to think about all the elements you got to make sure you're saying the right things in your script so i'm so excited um very very excited to start production on that eden prime um that is our basis uh film that we're working on uh, we are still planning on um, Street Style Homecoming to be filmed next year as well. Um, more details to come on that, guys. Um, more details. All I can say on that one. Um, we're in the planning process of that document, the second documentary. So very, very excited. Again, I got to thank everybody who who've been watching my films right now on Amazon Prime. I I can words cannot express how thankful I am. Uh, for people to go out and, and take a listen and really enjoy what we're doing. Um, the sky's the limit, all I can say on that one. The, the sky's the limit. Um, so I'm very, uh, very, very thankful uh, for that. T, you you heard that new Nas album? That new Nas album, is it, it, it's hard. <laughs> it's a little hard. King's Disease 3 is now out. They're not a sponsor uh, for our show, but I took a listen to it today as well. Uh, I had to do some cleaning up at my house and did some rearranging and and got some a new product in the house and now it's, it's pretty nice and had to update my uh, mini theater I got in my my place uh, with some newer um, not newer equipment old equipment that was in one room and I moved it to the home theater and then I uh, got a new uh, item in there so I was listening to the Nas album as I was doing that before coming to our meetings later uh, within the day. Very, very excited for Nas's latest album. I'm listening to it. Currently, it's a great, great album. Um, when we do the Heat later on this weekend, it, we, we're probably going to have Nas night to, to celebrate his third album. But we needed to do today's show, the Beyond Swiggy podcast. We, we, we had to. Coco, I see you, man. We're going to get to your story in just a few minutes. You good with that? He's not in his head, guys. He's good. He's chilling. He's like, hey, you take your time. He got all the time. Um so that new Nas album go hard. Um, I needed to talk about this, and uh, we're going to talk about, uh, of course, Oxford College of uh, Emory University's basketball team because I, I I like to talk about them. I really do. Um, but I needed to talk about them for sure uh, with their game on Tuesday because I knew them them guys got I got a lot of respect for uh, them guys up there on that on that team. And I definitely got some respect for them as well. Oh, before we do that, uh, viewer discretion, uh, discretion. We are. This is solely my opinion on the team when it's in the form of Emory University. Fully discretion. This is just my opinion. This is not uh, anything affiliated with Emory University when it comes to the radio show. Uh, just had to throw that out there, right? Because if you guys notice, we've changed the studio, we've changed the name, we've, we're changing a lot of things. Um, I got a little bit of a, uh, 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 a conversation about how I represent Emory University. And I have to make sure I put my disclaimers um, when I, if I'm getting ready to talk about Emory University as a whole, I got to put that discretion out there. Um, so again, discretion. Uh, this is solely me ba talking about the team. This is solely my opinion. Uh, the show or the segment is not sponsored by Emory University. Um, we are not using this segment for monetary gain. 
Um, so I just had to throw that out there um, real quick before we talk about any Emory type of things. But I got respect from them boys, right? Right? You know, the Oxford College Eagles. They went against the LaGrange Panthers. Guys. Oh, my God. That was a mega, mega show that we saw last night. Right? And boys, hey, you boys worked really hard, but it was looking kind of scarce. Right? It was looking kind of kind of nervousome. Right? I was nervous for the boys. Of course, uh, it was last night. I watched them boys play because I'm huge. I'm a huge basketball fan, number one. And I really like to see the progress of something that I, especially for an institution that I am proud to work at and work for. I like to show my support, as always, Oxford College, uh, Emory University basketball team. They had their game against LaGrange Panthers last night. Gosh, I was so scared because that match was so close, right? The coaches was telling me, and I got the inside scoop to the coaches. They were telling me that, hey, we need we need a little, maybe just a little easy weasy teeny beady luck because these the boys on the Lagrange Panthers they they're 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 good players is what I was told, right? My sources was telling me that we've got some good players on the other the opposing team. Um, so it was a fighting spirit there. Of course, students come out to the games and they enjoy the um. Uh, students come out they enjoy the match and you know as always the cheer squad was there we had the concessions going and you know we were just we were just very excited to see the match back and forth it was a hard a long drawn off battle and I say you know it's physical those 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 guys they they play rough not in a bad way right there's no fights there's none none, none of that stuff going on but I gotta say that um that was a match, right? That, that was that was a match that I enjoyed seeing. Now we were down for some points. I was nervous, like, oh, this is it. This might be a, be a be a loss for us. Boys came back strong. Of course, got to give a shout out to uh, who did I see? Nick Harden. He made some some good shots. Isaac always doing some good things. Justin Wyden, they doing some things. But the hero of the match, Sean Osei. He's the winner. He he is the hero for the team for that match because. He was making some three some three point pointers. Maybe some layups, some three pointers. He was doing his he was doing his thing. He saved the team for that match last night. So very, very excited for that. Um, they do have another match. It will today well today's Wednesday, but by the time you might be hearing the podcast, it'll be Thursday. There's another game. Uh, tonight, Thursday, 7 p.m. I'll be there watching so I can can critique critique and talk about it on, on our shows. But that was a close match. I was nervous. I was not biting my nail for real but i was on my nail my, my my fingernail i was i was that nervous like i was on the edge of my and everybody was on the edge of their seats right everybody was doing it everybody was on the edge of their seats when it came down to uh the progress of it all um but they prevailed out they i think it was 86 to 84 so they, i mean and all my other shows i say if it's you know it's a good match if it's if it's a close match or it's the straight up butt kicking I we I know we say the other word, but we you know we talking about it, so we gotta not cuss. <laughs> but um, it was it was a close match, right? It wasn't a straight up destroy from the other team or our team. It was a close match, so it was always good to see that. I saw some layups. Justin made his shots. He got Justin. Okay, this player Justin White. It is so funny to me when he's playing his match. And he's doing his shots, and somehow he comes out of his left shoe. Last game I've seen, Justin loses his left shoe. <laughs> and in this match last night, or Tuesday night, he lost his left shoe again. I don't know if he's not, like, tying his shoes, or is it just some superstition that you he has to do it in a game? But he's always losing his shoes and continue to play. As I said in a previous podcast, that this is a... This is a, a, a moment to where this team is fighting hard. And I believe it. I am ecstatic for it. I'm happy for the team. I can't wait to see it. And they, and these boys got five matches this week. There's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Monday. Right? So but they got about four or five matches before Thanksgiving break. So, again, guys, best of luck. I'll be watching you guys tonight uh, to see what you do with uh, the opposing team. Uh, and again, before we go on to our segment of the Beyond Swinky podcast, what I just talked about, 
discretion. Uh, we are not talking about any of Oxford College and University for monetary gain. This is uh, solely our opinion and our just talking free of speech. Again, we're not using this segment for monetary gain in represents of Emory University. So I just had to bring that out there. Now, let's get on to the meat and potatoes of today's show, the Beyond Swanky Podcast. Uh, again, viewer discretion advised for this next segment. Again, viewer discretion is advised. Uh, we're talking about some grown type of conversation. So if you are not able to handle what we're about to talk about, our explicitness, please click out of this podcast because, again, viewer discretion advised. Coco, what up, man? Not, not everyone is your friend, man. You don't love everyone. You don't even like everyone. Not everyone's your bestie or your dog or your you know, best friend or whatever term you want to use. Not everyone is that. Stop capping. Stop lying. Chatting a bag of things. It's not true. Stop the cap. I'm tired of hearing it. I'm just, just stop. That is true. Everybody ain't your friend, y'all. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get it. Yeah, I gotta get used to it, right? I have a close circle. We all have our, our circles. Uh, your, your your close circles, yes. Those those are your true friends. Shout out to my squad. The question does become: Does your outer circle becomes your friends, right? I've had a lot of people that's in the outer circle that, you know, we used to quote unquote be friends but you know when you when you stop coming around you you stop advocating you stop talking then it's like okay i haven't talked to you in 20 years right so i don't think we friends right if you close friends are good friends when you talk to each other every day i can consider my my squad you know the the, my 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 mafia squad you know close friends my my little brother best friend i like to say because he's my little brother we've been through the moon and back. We've been through some things. So I think yeah, just to get a just to get an opener here and comment below, guys, I think a friend is a good friend if you've been through something with that friend, whether it's tra- traumatic reasons, historical reasons. If you've been through something with your friend, then that's when you can say, yeah, that's my best friend because we've, we've been through it. Shout out to Ryan. We went to go see Black Panther with Connor Ant forever this past weekend. We, you know, over the years, we've been through some things. Right. Um, when is it? Does, when does it come to where coworkers, colleagues, college mates, workspace mates? Those are not really your true friends. I'm just going to say that you're not going to be friends with a colleague. Right, because the colleague doesn't have your best interests at heart. Let's say if you and a colleague gets in trouble, do you think that colleague is going to stick up for you when it comes down to your job, your money maker, your money train? I'm willing to bet y'all a hundred dollars that that colleague would throw you under the bus to save their own behinds when it comes down to being reported by your supervisor, right? We have to stop that notion that, you know, colleagues are your friends. No, they're not. Supervisors your friends. No, they're not. Bosses, managers, directors, producers. We ain't your friend. Right? We, we've, we've got to stop that notion. Some people come to me. Oh, me, you don't like anyone, do you? Do you even like anyone? Oh, do you even like anyone? Oh, do you even like anyone? Oh, sound dumb as hell. Do you like everyone? I would like to know. Do you like everyone? Absolutely not. No, I don't like everybody. <laughs> I don't. I I tell you the people I like. I like y'all. That's in the studio. Of course I like y'all. Y'all dope. Monica, I see you over there. I, I love you. Everybody know about me and Monica. We we always everybody know. Hey, that's no secret, Monica. You gave me that smirk. Everybody know about me and you. Anyway, yeah, I like you guys that's in the studio. Uh, my family, I like my family. <laughs> that's so weird to say. I love my family. I do. I love my, my squad, right? Do I like everybody? Nah, I don't like everybody. Sometimes you just got to get up 
And when you see people you just don't like, you just got to give them a great big smile just to give them the benefit of the doubt. Right? You just have to do that sometimes. You have to do what is necessary uh, to, to keep that smile, the facade up, so that way it, it, makes you, it makes you be the good person. I know that's difficult to a lot of people. I know it's difficult to a lot of people to uh, fake a smile, right? Because it's called being that's called being fake. I get that point. I really do. But sometimes you just gotta you have to do that depending on your area or your circumstances or your, or your situations. But to know, I don't like everybody. I don't like it. Like that's what you're telling me. You like everybody. Everybody, your friend. Everybody, your dog. Like really. No, because they're not. And if you're saying they are, you're lying. Don't lie. Don't lie. I don't know who you're trying to impress. Please stop. Stop capping. Don't. You're not impressing anyone. Please. That is straight cap, bro. That is straight cap. Straight cap. Ain't no way you're sitting here lying, bro. To your to yourself. I don't care if you want to lie to me. Don't lie to yourself, bro. Why are you doing that? Because you and I both know there are some people you just can't absolutely stand. There are some people that you just do not like for whatever reason it is. You just don't like them. That is fine. That is okay. That is okay. You're not put on this earth to like everybody. It's not what you're here for. It's not what you're here for, man. Like, just do your thing. I hate when people just sit here and try to pretend like they're like these nice, these heroes, you know? These nice people never do anything wrong, love everyone. People are sitting there just pretending. Do not pretend. People who say that they love everyone. Like, everyone. And please don't mistake for what I'm saying as me being on some absolute hater shit. It's not what I'm saying. All people got no problem with them. Obviously, I can't have beef with every single person on earth. And that's not even possible. All people, I don't mind. People as a whole love people. But. I would be lying 100% if I sat here and said that every single man, woman, child, you know, whatever it is you identify as, I'd be lying if I sat here and said that I love everyone. Wow, every, I get along with every single person. There's, I don't have a problem with no person. No. <laughs> and, and I chuckle because... That sounds, and I I know we talked about it before we did, before we went live on air tonight, but I'm guilty of it too. Uh, I am, I'm what you call, and it's a famous word called peacemaker. Um, I okay. I don't get confrontational. I, I hate being confrontational when it comes to to certain things. Um, so for me. And this is, guys, this is just me, right? I don't want everybody to be just like me because I've everybody got their own different opinions. But I'm a peacemaker because I try to avoid confrontation, right? Um, if I'm dealing with somebody on a set, a film set, or if I'm dealing with somebody in our offices, um, I, I try to have that, that peace mind because it, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, Right? And it bugs people. It bugs people that I, I rarely get angry about things. Right? Um, and then a lot of people say, hey, why does Kennedy not get mad? Like, they want to challenge an, an argument. They want to challenge confrontation. And it bugs people. It really does bug people that if they got a problem with something, I just say, oh, okay. Oh, well, that's how you feel. I'm not going to stop you. But I think we should also do this. Right. And they they don't they don't have me challenge it. They don't quite to have me ch uh, question it because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at the end of the day, because there's my my philosophy. If somebody tries to start confrontation, start tension, whether it's, you know, you you're 
at a social gathering or you're on a film set, you know, you got to understand you're not going home with that person, right? You're not going home to, to hear them complain about things. You're not. Unless you're married to them, right? And that's just, that's my philosophy. Somebody will start something, have tension with somebody, and I ha and I hear about it on a film set, uh, and, and social gatherings are, are rare that I hear it from, but back then I used to hear it. And I say, okay, well, why do you care? You're not going home with that person. They're not giving you the four Fs. Y'all know what the four Fs mean. So why do you care? Why do you want to start something that doesn't really matter, right? When you go home at night, you, you're not sleeping with that person, right? Every day, somebody, oh, I don't like this person. I, I just, why do you care? Because when I go home, I'm not sleeping with that person. I ain't got to hear. It's nice and quiet in my house. I love it. Nice and quiet. I'm probably pouring up Jack Daniels mixed with Coke on a celebrated type of night that I, I want to drink. I'm watching my favorite shows, my favorite anime, maybe a movie. Probably playing my favorite game right now, playing God of War Ragnarok. Game of the year, by the way. <laughs> Definitely game of the year. And I'm stress-free. Right? Because I don't have the intentions of me going home and, and hearing about it. Right? So, to your example, Coco, I, I, I chuckle because I'm like that. Right? I, I put on this... Not a facade, but I try to put on the peacemaker type of, of, of vibe because it doesn't matter at the end of the day, right? And I think we have to, people, us in a society, we have to realize you're going to still get your bag, right? Continue, whether it's a social gathering, and this is really pertaining to people in the working environment, but this can articulate in social, you're still successful on your own. You're still getting paid. You're still doing what you're supposed to do. So why do you care? Right? Some people do. And that's to your to, to the point. I try to be the peacemaker. Because in my mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Because when I go home, I'm not thinking about it. Um, But yeah, I, I laugh because I, I, I play peacemaker in that. I don't like everyone. I don't. That's the truth arrest me you know like i don't care you're not supposed to like everyone i don't trust anyone who does i'm so sorry is that some that is like why are you pretending like that's what i want to know i want to know that like why do you want to sit here and pretend i hear so many uh, so many people who sit here and they like, man, I ain't got a problem with anyone. What? You two-faced, dumbass bitch. So when somebody got a problem, so, so imagine you have a friend, right, who's like that. You have a friend who's like, yeah, like, I ain't never, you know, I ain't got no issues with nobody and yada, 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 and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Me? Oh, pardon me, you know what I'm saying? And that's basically like the shit they're on. That's what they're saying, okay? So, they're saying this, right? Like, like what could they be doing, you know, behind your back? You know what I mean? Like, say they're having a conversation about you. What are they going to say? Fend you, fend them, fend everyone? No, no, no. No, you like the murderers too, the rapists, the pedophiles. You like them? You like them? We all know how much I don't like them. You like them? Because I just want to know, like, personally, I, I would like to know how you could possibly be friends with everyone. Like, you got no problems with nobody at all. Everybody's your dog. No, not everyone can be your dog. I'm so sorry. I don't care. I do not care. And don't lie and say, yeah, it is possible. No, it's not. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Like, stop. Like, stop. Please, 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 please. Life's already rough enough as it is. 
Don't be sitting here telling people that you're friends with everybody. You're not friends. We're not friends. You don't have friends. Shut the fuck up and shut up. Enough said, bruh. <laughs> he, you got that off today. So, the more of the story, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, everybody ain't gonna like everybody, right? It's normal. Perfectly, perfectly normal to not like people. Like I say, I'll say it on our show tonight. I don't like everybody. Now, I ain't going to name who I don't like because I ain't. Mm, but I ain't, I don't like everybody. Right? Uh, and th- and that's nature, right? I'm sure a lot of people don't like me. Right? It's all good. Because, you know, <laughs> Coco, hey, you, you, I joke with you. I'm a peacemaker. I like everybody. I'm just kidding. No. I don't like everybody. I just don't care to start tension and conver- confrontation. So I just I just mind my own business, right? Mind my own beeswax is what I say. So that's going to wrap it up here on our podcast here today. We're back, the Beyond Swinky podcast. Thank you guys so much for taking a listen uh, for our show here tonight. We get, we actually got a good one. We actually got to talk about some good stuff on tonight's show. So if you're watching the video version of this podcast of course, on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so that way you guys know that we upload our content. Sorry that we haven't been doing as much this week, but you guys know how we're doing it. Go check out Street Style, a New York culture, and Hardline second term available right now on Amazon Prime Video. You guys can rent the HD version for $1.99 and buy the full movie for five dollars and if you want the sd version of it only you can rent it for a dollar and you can buy the sd version for about three dollars so again you spend that much money every day on coffee so please support kill entertainment uh i would suggest buying the hd or renting the H- hd so you can get that high definition quality of our films so uh, that would be greatly appreciated. If you're listening to the podcast on major audio platforms, we're talking Spotify, we're talking Stitcher Podcast, Google Podcasts, iTunes, iHeartRadio, that's a big one for us over there, Pandora, so many more outlets. Please share with your friends so that way you guys know that we were live here today on our show. So that's going to wrap it up again, the Beyond Swanky Podcast. I've been your host and moderator, along with our cast and crew, T and Monica and Coco up in the studio. I've been your host, KLP Kennedy Lucas. As always, we'd like to say, stay safe, stay swanky, peace. <laughs>